Hello all and welcome to the Bharat Army podcast episode number 8. We've got the great cricket over here. Hello and welcome to the show guys. Yo. Hey, thanks thanks for having us. How so okay, you know the World T20 is about to begin, but for me the real World T20 just ended yesterday. Are you happy with the result? <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, I suppose like it's you know, an Australian won the IPL, so you know, an Australian <laughs> World Cup. So uh yeah, I guess that's yeah, at the same time, Australia lost the world, uh, IPL as well. So, super happy about that. For a change. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys predict that KKR is going to win this IPL? Like, what were your predictions before the IPL started? Yeah, before yeah. the season. Absolutely not. Every team could look great in one way, and every team could look terrible in the same way. Uh, I yeah. can't remember. Predicted. I think it was usual suspects. I mean, uh, you know, Chennai is normally there or thereabouts. You know, you're usually pretty safe saying that they would be handy. Yeah. But really, like, Kolkata just walked it. They, they were at the top of the ladder pretty much the entire time and yeah. had no problem in the playoffs. So very much worthy winners. And when you look back, it's easy to do that now. I mean, they, they were very uh, balanced and dominant uh, at, at every phase of the game. So they're very much uh, deserving winners. But at the same time, don't you think the final was extremely disappointing? Like, it was anticlimactic uh, in, in the best way possible because... 10 overs, they're just chasing down a total. It didn't even feel like an IPL final. I feel like we already had the IPL final with like with RCB making the playoffs and then losing. <laughs> like that was that was that was kind of like the peak of the tournament, you know? Like I think we I think we had the yeah. big moment. And then oh, actually all the finals were kind of one sided, weren't they? That the not not particularly close mm. games, not very high scoring. Mm. Um yeah, like because with like uh Abhishek and Travis at the top of Sunrises, I think like a lot of people wanted like you know, 250 or for one of them to make a big score or something. And then yeah. as soon as they were out in the first like seven balls, yeah. it did feel a bit flat, didn't it? It felt a bit, ah, this, this, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I think rightly said, like the CSK RCB match has to be the highlight. Like, that should have put, I guess put, that, I guess that we have, we should have ended IPL over there. Yeah. Could have been the perfect yeah. way to end the IPL as well. But <laughs> if you, you guys, guys have any affiliation to certain teams that you have a soft corner for, let's say RCB or CSK or MI? <laughs> oh, well, RCB is the most views. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> I mean, in all seriousness, like I probably do have a soft spot for RCB, but that's because yeah. uh, Bengaluru was the first place he goes and I ever went to in India um, okay. through our work. And okay. uh, the people we were working with at the time were based there. And uh, so it's the first place we've seen in India and probably made the most friends there. And, uh, and their team is... Uh, definitely the most emotional uh so it's always fun um but but th we don't have an affiliation with a team where we might get nervous you have oh, the play yeah. you um you know you have the players that you like and you hope do well and and whatnot yeah. uh but really it is it is uh you know as, as cliche it is as it is just wanting good games uh with yeah. funny things to talk about so how was Bengaluru for you like when you visited here yeah, oh, I love it. Yeah, we loved it. It was awesome. We've been we've been twice now. Um, we uh, you know, great weather. Traffic is absolutely terrible. Um, <laughs> what, what, I remember the airport's about like three weeks away from the city itself. Uh, <laughs> they, uh, food was amazing. Nice people. Um, yeah, like and we we had a we had a little tour of the Chinnaswamy. It was yeah. there were no games being played at the time. I forget what yeah. month of the year it was um, when we first went, mm. but. Um, July. Uh, yeah, might yeah. have been July or something yeah. like that. So uh, yeah, no, we 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 had a fantastic time. And then the the second time we came to India, we did uh, about eight or nine different cities, I think. Mm. So we got a much bigger picture yeah. of uh, of different parts of the country. But yeah, I think I think Bengaluru like that definitely has a soft spot for us. Um, and also obviously like you know Deccan Chargers are my team. Um, oh. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, have you watched any IPL match uh, from the stadium ever? No, never. Uh, we really liked it. We, we um, it would it was something we were really keen to do this year, but uh, yeah. it, just owing to like our family schedules and whatnot, we really yeah. don't have a lot of time to go overseas yeah. at this. But um, we have yeah, like we're really keen to go next year to the IPL and and make that something that we do okay. for at least like two two to three weeks. So we're like very excited about being able to see it in the stadium to, to, to go to any stadium really but i suppose if we had a pick like definitely yeah. want to go to chinaswami or if, if msd is still going around <laughs> it would be difficult to say no to that just to watch him walk out you know that seems mm. to be the main thing but um <laughs> uh but any any of them would be grateful to go to we 
yeah. we did go to India last year and saw uh, the test between Australia and India and, and in Delhi oh. uh, at Butler there. So it's got yeah. to see if as of cricket in India, which was really cool. Uh, but yeah. yeah, IPL would obviously be its own uh, beast and we'd be really excited to do that. Yeah. So Rohit, Rohit Sharma's entry at the one today, Dhoni's entry at Chapok or Kohli at Chinnaswamy. Pick one. Ooh. Dhoni. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dhoni. Um, yeah, it would be Dhoni. Like, Kohli I mean, yeah. yeah, look, as an Australian, I don't think a lot of people here have a um, particularly uh, accurate understanding of uh, his place uh, in culture. And uh, we didn't, when we started covering uh, Indian cricket a bit, more solidly uh and in yeah. particular the ipl and we started to realize that it was a problem when well not a problem but like it was something different when we had shane watson on our show doing a doing an episode each week with us and he, that was his only stipulation that we're not allowed to make fun of msd in front of him <laughs> i was like oh okay this must be he must be that serious but um yeah, yeah i think he's a uh, the 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 place that he holds in Indian culture is obviously it's really exalted and something that uh, is really curious to us here in Australia. And to, to be able to witness him do what he does in front of everybody would be would be really special. Uh, so he'd be my pick, yeah. Interesting. Do you foresee him playing the next season as well? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think he's going to – he's supposed to get to play forever. I think he's <laughs> – <laughs> From one social media influencer to another, we're yeah. happy about Tony playing every season, every single game. <laughs> as long as, yeah, he's, he's going to play forever. He's going to face about seven or six balls a season. Uh, <laughs> and he, he's probably going to have something about 25 runs. But, you know, every time he comes to the crease, it's going to be, you know, what is it, whistle, whistle podu? Uh, you know, yeah. it's going to be absolutely mental. There's going to be guys in the boundary just, like, covering their ears because the screams are so loud. Uh, yeah. yeah I, I mean, why not? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so uh, we are talking about Dhoni. So, which is your favorite innings in this season about Dhoni? Uh, is it the MICSK which happened in Chennai? No, I'm sorry, but my favorite Dhoni moment this year was the catch he took, um, where he just sort mm -hmm. of went off to his right, and then we started to see memes that were counting the number of meters that he actually uh, scrolled yeah. to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stretch me yeah. like super wide. meter moment, mm. I think, was the yeah. moment of the IPL when he took a catch that most <laughs> people. <laughs> the way you guys edited that video was hilarious. Like everything was about that catch, yeah. that leap, and everything. But yeah, it's like we, we actually well, did to yeah. He'll continue to play because um, yeah, like it, it, one one boundary or one catch from Dhoni is just worth too much money to too many interests. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it, it's worth more than any hundred that anybody yeah. else is able to hit, and uh, the only people I think would want him to stop playing would be like merchandise sellers because then they could like, everyone else would have to wear different jerseys in the stadium yeah. <laughs> <laughs> across, the, across the nation yeah. but apart from that yeah he, he's just too, he's too valuable that will roll him out in a wheelchair mm. it doesn't matter <laughs> so we, we'd be more than happy to watch Dhoni play at least for another decade and honestly as an influencer I'm so bad you put up Dhoni in your metadata and bam the videos just spike up no matter what. <laughs> You know, I, oh, don't, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I don't. Um, no. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. That's so a coincidence. Which, <laughs> which IPL team has impressed you the most this season? I think KKR for me because I never really... I think they went under the radar for a while because they were playing good cricket, but there was less noise around them. So for me, it has to be KKR. Yeah, I mean, good choice. I mean, they obviously won it. So they were, they were, in some ways, that was the most the obvious, impressive. The obvious choice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I go for the yeah. second obvious one? I think Sunrisers have impressed me the most. Like, <laughs> like they, yeah. they obviously didn't win, and they've you know, uh, yeah, got got rolled in the in the first innings of this game. But like, I didn't have them anywhere near the the playoffs, and to finish seconds, uh, seconds ultimately, yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to finish seconds, like great yeah. achievement. Um, I think what Cummins has done there was a great mood around the place. You know, Team Natarajan's had a great season. Clarsons had a good season. Abhishek Sharma, I mean, he's just been amazing. So I think Sunrise is probably the mm. most most impressive. For me, probably Delhi or RCB because in my mind, they're still last. And in <laughs> fact, 20th. I don't know how they finished fourth and fifth respectively. <laughs> yeah. I genuinely don't know how they like what tricks they did to mathematics yeah. to finish in those places because they just seem to lose a lot mm. all of the time. Yeah. But I mean, I, I don't really, I'm trying to add something different to the mm. team that, you know, came first and second. <laughs> Good, good choice. No, but I remember your video as well where you mentioned third of May they were tenth, 
and by 15th or 18th or something they were fourth like how did that even happen but i think uh. that speaks a lot about their character as well right they, they just stood ground we're going to play cricket we're going to win take it one game at a time and make it to the playoffs i guess that was the greatest comeback in the ipl i feel i disagree yeah. this season maybe yes yeah this season yeah, yeah. yeah. okay uh, let's be honest guys sam uh, in if you have to pick the 2014 mumbai indians run where we won five six consecutive games and then aditya tare six of the 14th over Or RCB's uh, comeback this year. Which one would be your uh, favorite one? I think the RCB one. I think I think oh, this one. Guys. RCB is so f- like you talk about predictions. I mean, one, I I had no idea who was going to win the tournament. I thought Punjab would come last because they just always seem to. But like, <laughs> it's like, like one thing you can bank on in every IPL, RCB is going to do something ridiculous and they're going to break your heart. Like that's yeah. that's been that's been a common theme each IPL. I think. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's so impressive. Yeah, there was that game against Gujarat where Will Jacks hit a hundred off seven balls or whatever. You know, yeah. like the conversations around Coley's strike rate. Um, yeah. They didn't have any bowlers at the start. It's, it's such a ridiculous franchise, but uh, uh, you know, it's funny. Like, the, I, I like him. Yeah. <laughs> what do you What do you think went wrong with Mumbai Indians, and what could they do to rectify next season? It's pretty obvious what went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. uh, without being, um, I think one thing about the IPL this year, which also assisted RCB and Delhi, is that like so many teams have so much talent across the park. The te- the games are very very close. You know, over fourteen games, there's not really much that separates top from bottom. So when you have a team with the quality of the Mumbai Indians, uh, who arguably have the highest quality team. On yeah. paper, the most valuable team, the most international experience, the most championships, and everything. Um, when they um, finish so low as to be out of the running, like weeks uh, a- a- away from the finish of the season, yeah. clearly something uh, more intangible within the team has gone on. You know, like they, they they were not they were lesser than the sum of their parts, uh, yeah. and as you know, none of us have really played um, professional sport before, but. That, that when when you have um, disagreements between players or or leadership issues, then you know it can really impact the quality of the performances. And I mean, I don't think it's a particularly uh, controversial thing to say, but something about the transition leadership there has obviously resulted in poorer performances within the side and and needs to be sorted out. So uh, I don't think the answer is like you know. Yeah. Oh, they needed to open the bowling with Boomer more often. They, you know, like or, or like or. You know, yeah. Tim David needs needs an over or needs to be one. Like it's it's not a tactical issue. They're they're issues of leadership and and management. And I'm um, I'm sure that they'll they'll fix that. I think that they what they need to do for next season is inquire if Boomer can just bowl all the overs. If they, if, <laughs> I'll be if they, they fix that, then I think they'll be fine next year. I guess we'll be most happy. Yeah, no complaints over there. Uh, but the, <laughs> you, if you watched the presentation ceremony yesterday, it was delayed by a mass. I mean, I remember Robin Uthappa in the Indian broadcast just said, "What if IPL gets penalised for for a slow over it?" It was that late. <laughs> <laughs> you know, didn't they say that like the, the the wait for the presentation was longer than Sunrise's innings? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But are you happy with all of the awards, like uh, Player of the Tournament and everything? Like quite convinced and quite happy with those results. Yeah, well, I mean, the orange and purple cap wasn't really in dispute. That's just a question of, uh, you know, runs and wickets. But yeah. Um, yeah. no, Anil Narayan is has uh, what, what he made four hundred and fifty runs and took seventeen wickets. I mean, that's fairly undisputed to me. Plus, mm. he was in the team yeah. that won the top, uh, making impacts yeah. up the, top of the order with the bat and then slowing batters down or um, or taking wickets yeah. with the ball. I, I think that's that's fairly clear. Uh, I think a lot of guys could have got that young player of the year. I thought Nitish Reddy yeah. got mm. that. Uh, I thought yeah. Abhishek Sharma would have been yeah. a really good shout. Yeah. Uh, for that, so yeah, I was, um, I was, I was happy with the awards. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but I what do you, what do you guys, you guys yeah. think? No, I think I'm quite happy. Do you have anything? Yeah, I'm happy. I like. I was expecting Abhishek Sharma to win one of the awards, and he mm. got like the most success award. So I guess that yeah. was something I was rooting for, yeah. other than KKR yeah. winning the IPL. So, so I think uh, Abhishek Sharma went under the radar because of Travis Head and other batters over there. But I think he did splendid across the season. It was very clear, and it's a very non-Indian thing to do. Because we usually don't play this kind of cricket which Travis Head and these people are playing lately, and hopefully it's a good transition for us getting into the World T20 as well. In fact, let's get to the build-up as well. Uh, the World T20 is just around, and I'm tensed as an Indian cricket fan. I know how this ends. 
<laughs> you guys Australians, and you must be super happy. Like, yeah, this this is our arena over here. <laughs> I, I I don't know. I mean, yeah. it's so hard to predict who's going to win the T Twenty World Cup. Just I mean, just because T Twenty cricket in yeah. its nature is just it's so difficult to predict. Because I'm looking at like all the major teams. Um, you know, South Africa have like probably the the strongest middle order. The West mm. Indies have been playing really well. They beat England yeah. in the in that series uh, in December and January this year. Um, I, you yeah, Af- in Bangladesh. Yeah, yeah, USA That's looks right. strong. Watch out for the US. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. looking at like Afghanistan with their with what they can do with their spin. If if it's going to be slow turning decks, I think like they'll, they'll they'll definitely win games. England and Australia look really good, and then India, India are probably favourites. Yet they're they're <laughs> The, I, like I don't, I don't know how. Uh, well, sorry, I, no, I understand how because they've got such quality players. But the the one thing is like, how come it never comes together in a tournament for India? And that's, but they will still go in as probably favourites because they've probably got the best eleven players. But yeah. I think like it's so difficult to be. New Zealand are they good? I, I don't know. Oh, yeah. We say the same thing about New Zealand every time, which is nothing, yeah. and then it ends up being like <laughs> yeah. there or thereabouts yeah. as well. Yeah, it does feel like there is a there's like four or five teams who have. Um, a psychological problem winning World Cups, but that shouldn't work mathematically. Like, I, I actually think one of them is going to lift the trophy. I really do think, like, Australia's luck is really is out, you know? Like, I, I, I surely we can't do it again, and it would be hilarious if we did. Hilarious. It would be hilarious. But yeah. uh, I do think it, it, it will be one of, like, uh, India, South Africa, West Indies. Uh, let's just keep England out of it, who also have a pretty good side. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. yeah. One thing, just tell Travis that please don't play in the yeah, final if it is India versus Australia. Uh, <laughs> you, the yeah. same. ODI World Cup does the same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, the, I mean, that is one thing with the Aussies, and, and we saw it with um, even Mitch Stark overnight, you know. Yeah. As long as those guys can uh, bumble their way through to a semi final, they tend to. Yeah. you know, play their, reserve their best cricket for the big moments. So the, yeah. the team is very together, the Aussie team. They do believe in the leadership of Cummins and Andrew McDonald as coach. Uh, they're a very close-knit team. So if they can find some form, then, yeah, uh, yeah I can understand why oppositions wouldn't really want to run into them. But I don't think that they Australia has more or less weapons than any other team. They've got guys who can fire on their day just like every other team does. Where they have an edge is, is probably that, experience and belief under pressure. Uh, but, but, you know, that doesn't work all the time. I mean, look at Cummins overnight, you know, completely yeah. choked. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think it's all the mentality, to be honest. The way you guys... So, to some extent, I would rate Australia with, let's say, uh, Mumbai Indians or CSK in IPL. Once they get into the playoffs, they are a different beast, uh, beast to beat completely. So, that's where you guys kind of hold the edge. And I think that speaks volumes of, you know, how many finals you've played over the years. You have been dominating cricket across decades, except for this 2007 to 2013 era where Team India was there winning the Champions Trophy and everything. I think Australia has been there throughout. The 2015 World Cup was yours. And this year, hopefully, it'll be India back again. It which, will be. It Yeah, will. it will be. Which player, as Australian fans, which Indian player are you worried the most about? Is it Surya? Is it Boomerang? No, oh. Boomerang. It's Boomerang. Boomerang, always. Yeah, Boomerang. Boomerang, yeah. is, Boomerang is the best. Yeah. Uh, and that, and he, he, ste- he steps up on the big stage mm. as well. Uh, yeah. I think I think he, uh, India's most valuable player, and uh, and Aussies respect him greatly. He's able to do it at home. He's able to do it here. Uh, you know, he's he's a player that you have to see off in T Twenty cricket. It's hard to get after him, uh, yeah. and he plays cricket with a great spirit as well. You know, no no real carry on, just just mm. aggression controlled. <laughs> Uh, and so many skills, you know. He's got that. He's got the Yorker. He's got the short ball. He can bowl slow into the wicket. Uh, he's he's really the complete um, fast bowler. So yeah, Boomer is the guy. In fact, you know there are some speculations going on about the opening pair for Team India, and probably it's going to be Virat and Rohit. Would you? I mean, would you support that? Or would you rather want them to play down the order and let the youngsters take charge at the start? <laughs> Oh, um, it'd be pretty tempting to get Joswell in there, wouldn't it? I mean, Joswell's in the squad. Yeah, mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Look, I think if um, if the World Cup was being played in in IPL conditions on IPL grounds with an yeah. impact, I don't think Virat or Rohit would be the ideal openers for that situation. But it's going to yeah. be it's that's not what the conditions are. It's West Indies 
The wickets are low and slow. There's no impact sub. I think being able to strike at between 140 and 160 is going to be really valuable. Both of their experience is uh, like the experience of both of them is is unmatched. Uh, so I'm sure they're going to do um, a really good job. I think a bigger question for Indian cricket is like when when do they oversee a new era of uh, of young players coming through? Like it's very difficult to know what young players are going to do if young players don't get a chance in the yeah. side, you know. Yeah. But but um, the, these two guys are uh, it's. You know, I, I think in these particular conditions in the West Indies, they're going to be yeah. as dangerous as anybody. Mm. Okay. And if you have to predict the four semi-finalists of this World D20, who would those be? Oman. Mm, Namibia uh, look good. Namibia, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, Australia's going to get there somehow, aren't they? Australia's going to be the, is gonna be one of them. Yeah. India should. Just Australia aside for a moment and just tell for it. It's, it's like muscle memory for yeah. Australia. We know they're going to be there. The other three. You must do that and you're going to clip it up and go, the great cricketer doesn't think Australia will make the semi final. Yeah. How can you ask us to predict the semi final? <laughs> yeah. 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 Australia's going to win. Like, yeah. Yeah. All right. Now you guys do it, but keep India out of it. Uh, <laughs> we can't dare to do that. No, for a, aside from Australia, for, for whatever reason, um, I no, think. I'm yeah. saying, apart from Australia, I'm saying yeah. one Australia is confirmed, the other three. Uh, Okay, um, that was three, I see. Uh, I'm going to say West Indies. Yeah, West Indies, South think... Africa, India. Oh, no, actually, West Indies, South Africa, and Pakistan. But I think uh, just going back to the IPL, but I think the entire highlight of the season has to be Sunil Narayan and Gambhir smiling at the end of the season. Yeah. We've never seen that happen, right? <laughs> oh, I didn't. I didn't see that. I. Yeah. I. I, uh, I mean, that's that should actually be the the photo for next year's IPL promotion. I mean, <laughs> look how happy that this sport and this competition can make people. Even the Ryan is smiling. I can be smiling. Wow, that is that's that's something. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys planning to watch any World T Twenty match from the stadium? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're going. Um, we're going to the US uh, later this week. I'm not sure when the show comes out. Sorry, but um. We're going to the U.S. We're going to be at the opening game between the U.S. and Canada in Dallas, okay. uh, which we're really excited about. And then we're flying to New York, uh, and we will see uh, India against Ireland, and we'll yep. see uh, India versus Pakistan, uh, okay. which is which we're really excited about the, from um, from New York there. So, yeah, yeah it'll be really cool. Have you managed to secure your tickets for the match, India-Pakistan? I've heard there's a lot of struggle going on there. <laughs> well, I think we're just going to walk up on the day and just see if there's any tickets available at the gate. Um, <laughs> no, we're, we're climb the fence. Yeah, he'll climb the fence. Well, uh, look, we yeah. don't actually. We 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 are hoping to get uh, accredited, uh, but it hasn't wow. um, come yet. So, yeah. uh, for as, as media, so yeah. Yeah, wish you all the luck, guys. In fact, uh, on June 10th, you've got an event happening with Ravi Shastri. Please tell us more about it. Yeah, so uh, we are super excited um, to be doing a live show on Broadway with, uh, as you said, Ravi Shastri, June 10, uh, New York City uh, at the Town Hall Theatre. Um, and uh, yeah, so like for the last few years, we've been doing um, our show live on stage around the country. We toured India last year. We've been to the UK twice. We went to New Zealand early this year, and then we've toured Australia maybe four or five times as well. So um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a little different to our YouTube and our podcast. Um, but, uh, in the same theme, we're obviously talking about cricket and trying to bring some lighthearted comedy and, uh, and, uh, make fun of people basically. Um, mm. and, uh, and you don't get a copyright strike for using footage as well. So <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> all the stuff that's too hot for the podcast to be able to say, you know, and, yeah. and to be able to do it with the games, biggest voice and biggest presence is something we're really excited about. We feel like it's kind of a uh, historic to be part of cricket on New York Broadway as well with, yeah. um, with Avi Shastri. And yeah, we'll be talking about, uh, you know, whether cricket will make it in America, what it's even doing there. Um, we're going to be talking <laughs> India in world cups. Um, you know, India and Pakistan are playing the night before. So uh, going to be really interesting to see who wins that game and when, any, whether anyone will come to our show. Uh, but um, <laughs> Yeah, it's really, uh, it's really, it's really exciting. It's going to be, it's going to be fun. It's, uh, it's very much like stand up and, and comedy and, uh, and, yeah. you know, w uh, hopefully we can have a couple of wines with Ravi on stage and have Ooh. a laugh. <laughs> yeah, that, that has to be the one. That has to be the thumbnail of the video. Shastri yeah. and you guys just holding wine bottles and talking about it. <laughs> it would be super fun. 
Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Wish you all the luck for that. Anything you would like to say to Team India fans who are still hopeful for their first ICC trophy in a decade? No. You know what? I'll just say it's the hope that kills you. So abandon all hope and then you can never get hurt. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, try saying that to an RCB fan, but okay. <laughs> but I want India and Australia final and we are taking the revenge by winning it. Finally, yeah. yeah. Finally. Hopefully. Yeah. Would you would you like to see an India Australia final? You guys tried to organize that for the last World Cup. I didn't... <laughs> 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 okay, let's not talk about it. Yeah, let's end the podcast right away. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. It's, uh, it was fantastic speaking with you guys. Sarika, thank you so much. I'm Kunal. Viewers, please hit like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Bharatami as well. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thanks, guys.